uh, they've taken the lobster to the kitchen, and there's kind of a special preparation that they do that is... Would this be against the law in the West? Uh... <laughs> Welcome to Sky Garden, colossal crustaceans cooked up in mouth-watering ways, giant seafood boats, and a beef day cake. Guys, they have something called a freaking beef day cake. It's safe to say that I fell in love immediately and I just had to learn more. Right now we are at Sky Garden for what I would call my bucket list seafood feast. And look, people have a lot of things on their bucket list ordinarily. Climb a mountain, kiss a girl one day. And look, I'll get to those eventually. But right now it's all about having the most luxurious, over the top, gigantic seafood dinner you could possibly imagine. Andrew here, he is from Australia, a place literally surrounded by oceans that are full of delicious sea creatures. He's had every kind of delicious seafood, whether it's endangered, not endangered. Uh, uh, I mean, is that true? That's not true. I've eaten a lobster before. That's pretty good. And so that's the kind of expertise we need. What's the biggest lobster you've ever eaten? Maybe one, one kilo? That sucks. Yeah. You're growing in the dark. Today, Andrew is joining me for a bucket list seafood feast. One giant lobster providing a hearty and decadent five course meal. And in keeping with Vietnamese tradition, every part of this lobster will be used. And I mean every part. Oh my God, man. Yeah. <laughs> our lobster blood jello is here. But first, we gotta pick out our lobster. We're getting right into it. We have entered the aquarium section of Sky Garden and we are looking for the biggest lobster they have. Let's see what they got. Can we see the big one? Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. What the f man? Holy shit. Can I hold? Oh, I guess I'm holding it. She just hands it Whoa. right to me. Dude, I think Ooh. it has bigger hands than you do. Look at that. that this claw is the size of my face. <laughs> this is like a prehistoric Jurassic Park age lobster. This lobster is probably older than me. I want you oh, to man. use your human scale. You should guess how much it weighs. That's got to be, man, that's got to be two or three kilos. I'm going to say eight, seven pounds. My guestometer works only in pounds, sorry. Well, let's find out, my friend. I'm gonna put it on the platter. It's over three kilograms. Oh my god. 3.1 kilograms. Okay, we're just gonna do some quick uh, food math. 6.8 pounds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna eat this. I've been told that we, we take it to the table, we get some selfies, and then they're just gonna take it away from there. I get to do a lot of cool stuff on this show mm. where it's like exclusive access, but this is actually the real customer experience here. They want you to take pictures with the giant I, seafood. I mean, I guess, why wouldn't you? Selfie, let's do it. A little more sympathy for the lobster. All right, good. Um, I got you something. Thank you. Course one, lobster blood jello. Course one starts with some poached shrimp that are shelled and sliced up, then topped with some fragrant Vietnamese herbs. But it definitely does not stop there. Uh, they've taken the lobster to the kitchen and there's kind of a special preparation that they do that it's- Now I'm a little bit scared. It's out there, it's out there. It's gonna be a little bit controversial. Is this like one of those prank uh, shows? This is food innovation. Would this be against the law in the West? Uh, our first course draws its inspiration from the Vietnamese dish deep gan, or blood soup. Traditional deep gan starts with a base of fresh duck's blood, poured into a bowl, then allowed to set for a few minutes until it thickens. It's then topped with the duck's organ meat, herbs, peanuts, and onions with a side of rice cracker. It's, uh, it's one of those shocking foods because there's blood in it and people aren't used to eating blood, but really, uh, it's not that weird. As far as I know, the dish we're about to try is not only the first of its kind in Vietnam, but the first of its kind in the world. And now he's gonna do this special preparation, unique to this restaurant, but drawing from Vietnamese inspiration. Let's go for it. Let's Action. Do it. Oh man, what the? Yeah. Oh. This is lobster blood? The lobster blood, it's clear. Oh my god. I think that's enough, I think we got enough blood. That's a lot of, that's a lot. Uh, it's, it's definitely enough blood for me. Should I feel bad? We need to act like we're outraged a little bit, but mm. like, but we still have to eat it too. Mm. <sighs> All right, thank you. The lobster blood 
mixed with shrimp. This is the first course. I can't say I'm excited. I'm like maybe apprehensive yeah. is a better word. No, no, that's the right, you're in the right mental oh. place right now. <laughs> Good, at least we're utilizing every bit of the lobster, right? That's true. Literally every part of this lobster is gonna be used for this meal. Okay. Yeah. After about five minutes, our lobster blood jello has set and it's ready to eat. I'm imagining that this is gonna taste like salt water. Is this even the blood? Right. I don't know, <laughs> it's clear. All right, let's try it. Cheers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? That is the, the strangest. Uh-huh. The texture is really jello -y. Yeah. Obviously the shrimp tastes amazing. Naturally salty too. They didn't yeah. put any salt on the shrimp. Mm. So all that salt is just from that animal. Salt watery. It almost tastes like oysters. It does taste a little bit like solidified ocean water. Super fascinating, right? Yeah. I've never had anything like this. It's crazy. Yeah. Ah, cheers. Course two, lobster tail sashimi. Now that our tongues have been tantalized with the taste of what's to come, we're ready for more. For course two, our chef removes the still raw meat and chills it for a few minutes while preparing our seafood boat, which can hardly contain this monstrosity of a lobster. From there, he cuts thin pieces of tail, placing them over ice. The result not only looks tasty, but it looks like a work of art, deserving of its own music montage. The first bite, we gotta try it with no sauce. It looks just like fish, it's crazy. All right, let's try it out. Hmm. I like it. Yeah, that's really good. Clean. It doesn't taste like fish at all either. No, 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 no fishiness whatsoever. No. I just really wanna quickly thank this lobster for giving its life. But what I can say is this lobster went out a star and it's entertaining at least a million people right now? Did this video get a million views? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because we don't want the lobster's death to be in vain, and so we can at least have solace in knowing that a million people saw this video. Mm. Okay, so let's dip it in some of that wasabi. Yep, all right. Let's do it. Mm. Yeah. Once you get the salt punch yeah. in there. The tension mm. is what gets it, really. It's yeah. that firmness. Uh, almost crispy. Course three, stewed lobster head. After the sashimi, normally the head and claws would be placed into a hot pot, but there's just one small problem. I don't think it's gonna fit. I really don't. Oh, oh my God. Oh, no. oh. Here we go. Oh. It just doesn't really seem logistically possible. He's attempting to cut off the claw. He basically just did a kind of an arm bar. He's using his jujitsu skills. We're gonna cut the even the head in half. Whoa, oh Whoa. my God. So just the head. We're really gonna have to do like several hot pots for this. And he is gonna pull the head out. So right we, here. We have like half a half head each. Right here, you can see all the layers. You can see that green part. Are you gonna eat that? In the West, people commonly focus on tail and claw meat and often disregard what's in the lobster head. But we're here to try everything head to tail, including the inner green organ known as tamale. The tamale acts as a filtration system for the lobster. And in fact, the FDA advises hungry, fun food video making people like myself to avoid it. We just ate the congealed blood mixed with prawns. Yeah. And we're gonna draw the line because this was green. That's a fair point. All right. Okay, let's do it. Oh, that's good. It's buttery. It's so smooth. Yeah, that is really good. I agree. And it's so big, there's just whole spoonfuls of it. Course four, giant steamed lobster claws. These are nature's natural flavors at their best. Here's the money shot. This is like what I'm gonna open this video with. Here it is, gigantic lobster claw, and oh my God, look at that. Then we'll put that in the beginning of the video. Right. And people will be very enticed to watch up Quick until now. E. And then now, they're like, oh, was that an act? No. I'm genuinely shocked at how gigantic this is. It's heavy. This is over half that a kilogram. Insane. And I think yours is just as big as mine. <laughs> what do we do? I just want to take a bite on it. I think it. you can do it. Are you ready? ready? Yeah, Here we go. go. Mm. This is the best moment of my life. Oh my God. It's so sweet. It's got like that little bit of chewiness to it. Yeah. Naturally sweet. Mm. Piping hot still. Mm. I mean, come on. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, yeah. Look, 
A lot of people ask me if I feed the camera guy. Uh, usually I cut that part out of mm. the videos. This is definitely the best lobster experience I've ever had. I'm getting pretty full already. How are we going to do this hot pot? I don't know. I feel like the hot pot is now kind of anticlimactic right. <laughs> compared to this. Course five, hot pot. After being stuffed with rich, sweet lobster meat, there's still one more course. A hot pot made with a kimchi-based stew and loaded with vegetables and any remaining lobster meat. We've got a mushroom, Carrots, blah, blah. Look, it's vegetables, it's vegetables. I just feel like we ate a, uh, the most gigantic claw I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, and that was... That Are was, people gonna stick around to watch us eat vegetables that, that were was, boiled in broth? No. We just ran out of time, and I, we didn't think it was gonna be this huge. Finally, what you've been waiting for, the price tag. This complete lobster experience costs 1,950,000 Vietnamese dong per kilogram, with the normal portion of lobster being around 1.2 to 2.5 kilograms. Today, our 3.1 kilogram lobster comes in at 6,045,000 Vietnamese dong, or $266. We were gonna do the crab also, and then we happened to get really stuffed because mm. we have a freaking seven pound lobster here. If you wanna see the giant crab next time, let us know in the comments down below. This is a little different from the usual Vietnam videos, but look, if you're looking for Vietnamese food, but maybe something a little bit more traditional, mm. let me tell you about a company called One Trip. They are putting on amazing food tours in Saigon and Hoi An. They drive you all around town and you get to eat until you explode. It's one of my favorite things to experience with other people who are new to the city. To learn more about One Trip, click the link in the description down below. We will see you next week. Bye. That's good? Yeah. Oh, that's sick. the watermelon came.